We all like to raise the roof sometimes, but for these celebrities, it seems like it's a second career. New shots of Scott Disick at a Malibu rehab center. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 celebrities who party too hard. I was, I, I didn't do a single interview last year without uh, being high on both. For this list, we're looking at celebrities who are just as famous for their wild ways as they are for their professional careers. Basically, we're talking famous individuals whose partying habits appear to be excessive and have likely impacted their lives or careers in a negative way. Many of them have cleaned up their acts at some point in time, but even so, it's their partying as a whole we're considering here. Drew's life has been full of lessons, which have helped her as she and her husband raise their two daughters, three-year-old Olive and 18-month-old Frankie. Number 10, Justin Bieber. What do you mean? Is it too late for him to say sorry? Justin Bieber's hard partying ways have gotten him into hot water several times. After living it up with his entourage in New York, he was filmed peeing into a mop bucket at a restaurant instead of using a bathroom in 2013. That's a cool spot to piss, you know, you'll forever remember that. The next year, there was an incident involving Bieber egging his neighbor's mansion, which cost him over $80,000 in restitution, two years probation, and three months worth of anger management classes. Mr. Bieber, you are charged with the following. DUI, alcohol, or drugs, resisting without violence, and driving with an expired driver's license. Then, while visiting Miami, the Biebs was arrested after being suspected of driving under the influence. He seems to have mellowed out lately and has mostly been staying out of trouble, at least as of mid-2016. There were those nude vacation photos, but that's just standard pop star drama. Is it too late now to say sorry? Number 9. Drew Barrymore Give me a break. This former wild child was in rehab at 14 and was emancipated from her parents by age 15. Drew Barrymore, the actress, director, producer, and beauty mogul, has done a lot of living in her 40-plus years. When I was eight, I had had two glasses of champagne, and boom, I was like tipsy and, mm -hmm. you know, bubbly in the life of the party. And as she's confessed in her autobiography, she started drinking at nine, smoking pot at 12, and doing coke at 13. And it was such a scary, frightening feeling, yet it was such an escape from everything else in the world. She was a huge star when she was a young child, but she had a hard time earning roles during the late 80s as a result of her wild ways. However, she worked on getting her life in order for a few years and started to appear in movies again in the early 90s. Now, with two kids of her own, she's happy and more successful than ever. I think, I, I think things are good. Number 8. Rihanna whether it's with Drake, Chris Brown, Leonardo DiCaprio, or an entourage of beautiful people, we've all seen the images of Rihanna cutting loose at a club or music festival. The mega-successful pop star is a permanent fixture on the party scene, whether it's in New York, LA, or London. And wherever she goes, Rihanna is the life of the party. In fact, her jet-setting lifestyle has landed her in the hospital for exhaustion before, but even that hasn't seemed to slow her down for too long. Rihanna continues to work hard, as demonstrated by her long string of huge hits. But she also plays hard when she's at the clubs and attending A-list parties. Number 7. Scott Disick Are you serious? Oh my gosh! This Keeping Up With The Kardashians star parties for a living, so it should come as no surprise when things get a little out of hand for Scott Disick. The reality star is seen at parties and clubs all the time. But to be fair, he is a club promoter, which actually is a real job, sort of. Unfortunately, his hard partying ways caused his breakup from baby mama Kourtney Kardashian on more than one occasion. This seems to run in the family, because drugs and alcohol also reportedly caused the breakup of sister Khloe Kardashian and husband Lamar Odom. The former NBA star was found unconscious and unresponsive earlier this afternoon at this legalized brothel in Nevada. Scott Disick has also been to rehab on numerous occasions, though he remains a work in progress. It's been a really hard time going from like having all of you guys, having nobody. Number 6. Kiefer Sutherland Hey, Kiefer. You a pirate, man. This British-born Canadian actor once tackled a Christmas tree in a fancy hotel lobby while allegedly under the influence. Though Kiefer Sutherland is considered a hard-working, disciplined actor, he's also a legendary drinker. He starred in major films like cult classic Lost Boys, Stand By Me, and Young Guns. 
plus the popular TV show 24, where he played super agent Jack Bauer. But all through his successful career, he's had a problem with alcohol. In fact, his drinking has resulted in four DUI arrests as well as jail time. And what's that three months like when you're in jail? What was that uh, oh, it's experience awesome. like? <laughs> <laughs> it was awful. Since he has a main role in the 2016 political series Designated Survivor, here's hoping his party days are way behind him now. What the hell am I doing here? I'm not the guy for this. Number five, Kate Moss. High-flying supermodel Kate Moss has a long history of partaking in the sex, drugs, and rock and roll lifestyle. She rocketed to stardom in the 90s thanks to her ad campaign with Calvin Klein. And it was her super skinny look that started the heroin chic fashion craze. Her tumultuous and allegedly drug and alcohol-fueled romance with bad boy Johnny Depp was daily tabloid fodder in the 90s. And it was a similar story with Pete Doherty in the 2000s. Then there are her rehab stints. In time, her hard partying ways may have taken a toll on her health, but she still remains a fashion icon and a fixture in the London club scene. Am I sex symbol? Oh, <laughs> probably so you might were. be. No, it could be. Number four, Nicole Snooky Polizzi. Oh, my vagina's out. <laughs> Even if you were never a fan of MTV's Jersey Shore, you still know all about Nicole Polizzi, better known as Snooky. Snooki and the rest of the hard-partying Jersey Shore gang, including Jay Wow and The Situation, became instant celebrities. They even landed a spot on Barbara Walters' 10 Most Fascinating People list in 2010. What's smush? It's like a hookup. I see. It's a simpler way of, nicer way of saying, of hooking up, having sex with somebody. The show followed the group of eight housemates as they bar hopped their way through the Jersey Shore and onto our television screens. And Tiny Snooki was the breakout star and arguably the biggest partier. Get it off of me! Snooki, smash! Get it! On one episode, she was arrested for disorderly conduct after allegedly being drunk in public. Not a big surprise since she seemed to be drunk in every episode. Snooki's wearing a bra and a leopard thong into the hot tub with four testosterone ridden guidos. What is she thinking? Number three. Prince Harry. Let's do this. <laughs> royal dreamboat or royal hot mess? Prince Henry of Wales, or Prince Harry as he's most well-known, seems to be a little bit of both. His party boy reputation is well documented by British tabloids, but Harry's most infamous night of debauchery arguably occurred in Las Vegas, where he was photographed playing strip billiards and partying naked with a bevy of gorgeous girls. The palace was none too happy about that. Prior to that, there was the time he showed up at a party dressed in a Nazi uniform. Harry seems to have been on the straight and narrow for a while now, but since his brother Prince William is the future king, who now has two heirs, the pressure is pretty much off Harry. Perhaps he can afford to cut loose again, just not too much. Of course, I'd love to have kids right now, but yeah, there's, there's, a, there's a process that one has to go through. Number two, Lindsay Lohan. Unfortunately, some things that I would have liked to have kept hidden have you know, been out there. While Paris Hilton is known for being a Hollywood party girl, her pal Lindsay Lohan may be even worse. Lohan went from it girl to cautionary tale quickly. We're like twins. After starring in the well-received remake of The Parent Trap and the iconic Mean Girls, she amassed multiple DUI arrests and several visits to rehab. And it involved a lot more meditation and, you know, spiritual work, and that's kind of what I needed. Though she was considered a talented actress, she became a tabloid fixture instead and soon she was better known for her arrests than her movie work. However, lately there has been talk of a comeback for Lindsay Lohan. Can this party girl change her ways and turn her career around? Only time will tell. I really want to be on set, like that feeds me. Mm -hmm. That's You really want to act? Yeah. Because you really are extraordinarily talented. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The the freakiest aspect for me is always the at night of a good party. Uh, I don't know. It's fine. Were you um, drunk and on Vicodin when you did the Oprah show? Yes. This is where the party happens. This is the fun. <laughs> this is where it happens. It all goes down in this house. Yeah. Number one, Charlie Sheen. Drunken orgies, limousines. I want a party like Charlie Sheen. How could anyone other than Charlie Sheen end up winning this list? 
Sheen has had a long history of drug abuse. However, in 2010, things really began to spiral out of control. I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed, I have one gear, go. This was when cocaine triggered him to trash a luxury hotel suite while he was partying with a woman the media called a prostitute, though she later clarified herself as a porn star. His third divorce was finalized the next year, but not before Sheen underwent another rehab attempt and was fired from his hit show, Two and a Half Men, after he publicly went off on the series creator. So you're not sleeping with her, but you want to. Well, yeah. What kind of guy do you think I am? None of this seemed to stop Sheen from living his life his way, however, as he was found to be cohabitating with two younger women at the same time. Look at these two, wow. Who's got it better than me? I'm just gonna hang out right here. <laughs> Ultimately, the dark side of the hard partying lifestyle caught up with Sheen. In 2015, he announced his HIV positive status, though he'd been diagnosed four years prior to this revelation. I'm here to, to admit that I am in fact uh, HIV positive. Um, and I, um, I, 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 I have to put a, a, a stop to this, this, this onslaught, um, this, this barrage of, of, uh, of, of attacks. Do you agree with our list? Which celebrity do you think parties the hardest? This is just like totally weird for me because I love being center of attention and I feel like being here like I'm not. For more entertaining top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. How so, do you survive that? Because I'm, because I'm me.